Hi everyone, this is Chris from A Bar Above, and today we're going to be focusing on sweet vermouth, so stay tuned. Some of you may remember the video we made on mixology and cocktail trends of 2013. Sweet vermouth was one of the subjects that we kind of glanced over and just kind of outlined real quick. So now what we're going to do is actually go a little bit deeper um, and focus on some of the brands that are out there and provide some tasty notes for you as well. So the first sweet vermouth that we're going to focus on is Carpano Antica Formula. The producer was actually the originator of the category sweet vermouth back in 1786. Um, this is not the same recipe as back then, but um, it is amazing. It's really good. This is my favorite sweet vermouth uh, to work with behind the bar, especially for um, Manhattans. It offers a really, really rich kind of mouthfeel to it. It's almost syrupy when you keep it in the refrigerator. And by, as a pointer, you should always keep vermouth in a refrigerator because just like wine, it'll go bad very quickly. Um, but this sweet vermouth really focuses on the vanilla kind of qualities to it. Like I said, it has this really rich kind of syrupy mouthfeel to it um, and just creates an amazing texture um, in a Manhattan. Now there's also with this one <clears throat> a good focus on the sweeter side of it, uh, the, the toffee notes and the caramel notes that are coming out of here, and also um, some cola notes as well. Um, so it's a nice treat. Definitely try this in your next Manhattan. So the next sweet vermouth that we're going to focus on is Koki's Vermouth de Torino. Uh, now this producer has been around a long time as well. Uh, they've, been, they've been producing uh, vermouth since 1891. And it really shows they know what they're doing. Um, all the products that I've tried by Koki are really fantastic. Uh, they do a really great job on everything they make. Uh, this one here is very rich as well. Um, not quite as rich as Carpano Antica Formula, um, but it's got some nice weight to it. The focus on this one is a little bit different from the um, Carpano Antica. You don't get those vanilla notes to it. Um, this one is more focused on kind of that rustic kind of leathery, quality to it. Um, there's some cola notes in there as well, uh, like the Carpano Antica. Um, but the cool thing about this is uh, you kind of get this tobacco and cedar kind of notes from it, uh, which can be really a lot of fun to work with. So the next sweet vermouth that we're going to focus on is Martini and Rossi's Rosso. Uh, this is another very old producer. They've been around since 1863 producing fantastic vermouths. Now this is a little bit more on the reasonable side um, as compared to Carpano Antica Formula and the Koki. Um, and the focus is completely different. Um, it doesn't have that kind of rich quality that the other two vermouths have had. Um, and it doesn't, it kind of sways away from the hard spices and the earthiness uh, completely. And this one focuses a lot more on the herbal essence. Um, so when I first opened this up and started, you know, tasting it, the first two um, herbs that came to mind were oregano and thyme. So it's going down that kind of focus and it is absolutely fantastic in a Negroni. So I would highly recommend next time you make a Negroni, grab a bottle of this and try it. Another one of my favorite sweet vermouths is Via Sweet Vermouth. Now this is a, an American made sweet vermouth which is very different from the three Italian sweet vermouths that we've uh, been trying. This one definitely has some weight to it as well. Nowhere near uh, the Koki or the Carpano Antica. The focus on this one is much more on the spice side. So think uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, uh, really, really focused on those components. And it makes a fantastic Manhattan. Um, this is a relatively new player on the market in comparison to the other three. But I really encourage you to, to grab a bottle and um, try making a couple cocktails with this as well. So the last sweet vermouth that we're going to focus on and taste is the Vermouth Perucci Grand Reserva. This is another old producer um, and they've been producing vermouth since 1876. And the unique thing about them is that they're the only Spanish um, sweet vermouth that we're going to be tasting tonight. Um, it has some similarities to some of the other vermouths that we've tried. Um, the Vaya in particular, it has that kind of cinnamon and spice kind of qualities um, that Baya focuses on. It also has a little bit of that tobacco and kind of earthy qualities 
that the uh, Koki um, Vermutha Torino has, but it doesn't have any of the weight that I typically get with a lot of the other sweet vermouths. More along the lines of the Martini and Rosso, um, Ro Martini and Rossi Rosso vermouth. Um, the interesting thing about this one is that I kind of get this mental picture of orange oil when I drink it. It kind of has that aroma of citrus and kind of the mouthfeel of orange oil like as it's just kind of brushed across a Manhattan. Um, and the other thing that I find really interesting about this, and every time I try it, I can't get away from, is it has these really interesting hints of curry to it. So I'm uh, really excited to experiment with this sweet vermouth um, even more in the future. The last product that we're going to review is Burr's Grand Kinkina. Now this is kind of like a cousin to sweet vermouth. Um, the bittering agent that is present in here is actually uh, Chinchano Bark. And it could be used um, as a substitute for sweet vermouth in some of the classic cocktails that we're used to. Now the focus on this and the tasty notes are very different from what we've tried so far. Um, it's definitely more focused on the chocolates and the dark kind of cocoa bean quality and also has this kind of oxidized raisin quality. Uh, the first time I opened this up and tried it, um, the first thing that came to mind was raisinets. Um, so that should give you uh, kind of a clue on kind of what that profile is like. Uh, it's a great product and um, I've been having a lot of fun with uh, working this in the classic cocktails as well. So there you have it. We've tasted our way through five different sweet vermouths and one kinkina as well. We will provide you with our tasting notes on our website abarabub.com. So if you're watching on YouTube, um, just click the link below. Uh, and if you're on a bar above, you'll see the notes uh, underneath this post here. For another thing, um, there's a couple different websites out there that I'd highly recommend anybody checking out if you are interested in learning more about vermouth. Um, the first one will be um, Vermouth 101, but it's a great resource uh, for anybody that would like to know more about vermouth as a category. Uh, the information there is really, really fascinating. For anyone interested in learning more about vermouth, its history, and some of the ingredients that go into making it, um, Jared Brown and Anastasia Miller wrote a book called Mixolani Guide to Vermouth, which I can definitely recommend as well. Thank you for watching. Um, we'll uh, most likely be making our own vermouth here in the near future, but until then, have a great shift and cheers. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, find us on Google+, or visit us at abarabub.com.